I can't believe this. You're actually awake. This isn't a dream, is it? I had no idea, you know, before I started this, how this was made or how anybody went about doing it. Wow. At first, it was a little weird. I still can't believe I'm not dreaming. But, you know, I just think that it's so cool to give a character a new life with, you know, different expressions in their voice. Oh, who cares? This is a great dream. It's hard because I have a really expressive face and I make all these really strange faces all the time. And so I have to like, you know, downplay it a little bit. Amazing. With all that mist, it looks like the ocean. To get into uh, Shizuku's character, she's very shy. So it's a little bit more soft-spoken. I'm glad I pushed myself. I know myself a little bit better now. <laughs> Is it true that you were out with a boy from another class last night? What? Where in the world did you hear that? The girl who plays my best friend in the show, she's my best friend in real life. <laughs> we talk about boys and they talk about boys and, yeah. <laughs> we talk and they about sing together and we used to sing, we sing together. together. Peaceful bedroom, window with a view. Old dog that waits there, where my dreams come true. And it was fun when they actually had to sing Country Roads <laughs> because um, we brought them in together. Ashley was familiar with the song and Brittany was not. Have you sang it at all? Like. Years ago? No! No! Uh, no! So it's kind of fun to watch Ashley teach Brittany how to sing the song. Take me home, down country roads. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. I want to go like, <laughs> down <Yeah>. country roads. <laughs> In country roads, we start to giggle and stuff. And so you have to smile before because you totally notice when you're smiling in your voice. Country roads, I think I'll go down this path. It's an amazing song, and that we get to sing together is really cool. Like I know. In, a, in an actual like movie, not like in the car. So <laughs> it's awesome. Down country roads. <laughs> Let's sing that. <laughs> Yuko is a very real character. Do you think about boys? She's really natural. I mean, I've done a lot of other voiceovers, and sometimes I'll have like a character voice, and I'll make my like voice go high or low. But she is, you know, really close to my voice. I don't get you. It's so cool. You could be writing letters and encouraging each other every single day. So it wasn't really hard to play her. Awesome. There's not enough time. Come on, let's go. Seiji Yamasawa is the love interest of Shizuku Tsukishima. And he's a, kind of a quiet, strong, silent type. And he just slowly but surely grows on you and becomes a likable character. Yeah, this is where I come to get inspired. You'll see in a second. <laughs> the most fun of any project is the experience with the director and the crew and you know messing up and having you know having a good time and just working are you getting this b-roll <laughs> excellent i love you shizu hey the sun's out <laughs> i always work just basically directly off of the interaction between myself and the director and the vibe and, and what everyone's feeling i wanted to show this to you it's beautiful isn't it better <laughs> i love that one that's great we try a few things and then once you get into a groove you're fine well i am an actor <laughs> wait up Whoa. when they played back the first time i i was trying to see if it would fit we were experimenting i'll try one a little tad slower all i said was he's a good guy she should give him a chance they wanted me to go a little higher because the kid looks a little younger all i said was he's a good guy she should give him a chance you have to relate to the screen and the mic at the same time, you know? And they can't see your reactions, so you have to put as much as you can into the voice. And then all of a sudden, she starts crying her head off. So why did I say that's so terrible, huh? I think that's the coolest part. Yeah. <laughs> you need to clean up this room, Shizuku. And you should have started dinner by now. I think um, animation fans who see Whisper of the Heart are going to think I'm really bratty because <laughs> my character in this is brattier than anyone I've ever played. <laughs> That's right. I'm making money and I can support myself. What job do you think you're going to get without a college degree? I had a teenage older sister, so she's my sister sort of exaggerated and crankier. You're going to end up destitute just because you're in some stupid rebellious phase. Oh, just cranky, cranky, bratty, bratty, not having a good day. Little sister not doing enough. Clear the table when you're done. Then you can clean the toilet, the bathroom, and the entryway. Hey! So it's an ode to my older sister when she was a teenager. She's going to kill me for saying that. Sorry, Jen. I'm home. You're home early today.
Asako is a mom who's had a big day and has to come home and then be mom, so I can kind of identify with that. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's like, I've been at work for 15 hours. Do you really want me to cook dinner? <laughs> Do you want dinner? There's curry. Right. <laughs> I've always thought that it would be the most fun in the world to dub a movie into English. Oh, that sounds great. And it's different than when you're doing a scene in a film where everybody's sort of looking at something else. Here, it's the voice and nothing but the voice. Ah, uh -huh, you got it. It's fun, I love it. I mean, you don't have to hold your stomach in. <laughs> Look around as much as you like. <laughs> the Baron is bored too. <laughs> voice is very interesting to me in the creation of a character, and it helps create the image in my mind of the kind of person he is. So I told them that as soon as the Baroness was repaired, I'd buy them both. This man is gentle, and the voice has not a, a sharp edge to it. Whereas an older man who's cranky and can't stand these young kids, I mean, the voice is now different, and so we tried to choose something that conformed to what we saw in the story. Finished your book, Shizuko? Thank you, dear. It was, it was really wonderful. He's gentle, he's supportive and encouraging, and I thought that was lovely. You should be very proud of all the hard work you did. You've dug inside your soul and found some, some real gems. <laughs> How about that? Ah, uh, let us go forth together. The character I play, Baron, he's a beautiful looking cat. I mean, he's really refined. He wears a top hat and tails. Look, be not fearful but he's a character now that, that is much older than the cat returns. I am Baron Humbert von Gickingen. The artisan who created me gave me that title. The Cat Returns is actually a prequel to Whisper of the Heart. And the Cat Returns has got a little bit of a higher pitched voice because we're playing him younger. If you ever need us, you will always know how to find us again. And in Whisper of the Heart, he's much older. He's in like his 50s. And he's, he's, he's almost retiring at that point. But we must hurry, quick. The planetoids are gathering. So we had fun playing around with what kind of voice would he have and make sure that he was older. Come, let us fly. We will rise on the updraft. The process itself is easy and fun. I love it. But it's a talented cast, and that's gratifying to work in that company. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just think it's awesome, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Shizuku, I love you.